Good day, Wonder Nurses! I hope that you're all fine and doing well despite this pandemic. Let us continue to pursue our dreams patiently. Today, we will compare the difference between rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis in terms of their causes, key manifestations, diagnostic procedures, and management. And then we will also discuss about gouty arthritis and osteoporosis. So if you're ready, let's start! Rheumatoid arthritis. It is a systematic inflammatory disease that affects the synovial lining of the joints. It is common to women of 20 to 40 years of age. Causes It is an autoimmune disorder. The antibody attacks the synovium of the joint that will result to inflammation and swelling. Next is Genetics, then infection caused by the group A beta hemolytic streptococci. Osteoarthritis, it is a degenerative joint disease and it is characterized by the degeneration of cartilage in weight bearing joints like spine, hips, and knees. This narrows the joint spaces causing the bone to rub together which results to pain and limited joint movement. It is also a localized inflammation. It is common to male of 30 to 50 years of age. Causes aging since it is a degenerative disease. Lastly is obesity. Key Manifestations of Rheumatoid Arthritis The earliest sign is morning pain and stiffness. This is due to the decrease in the synovial fluid caused by the synovial membrane inflammation and damage. To relieve the pain and stiffness of the joints, encourage the patient to take a warm shower. But for acute episodes of inflammation and pain, cold therapy is advised. Then, symmetrical joint swelling. Next is, inflammation of the synovial membrane is followed by the formation of panus. It is an abnormal tissue growth caused by thickening of the synovium. This is the hallmark manifestation. Panus is then replaced by fibrotic tissue and calcification that causes subluxation of the joint. The joint becomes ankylose or fuse that result of very painful joint and an ROM that is very limited. Lastly is hand deformities. It is a late manifestation that is irreversible. This includes the following. Key manifestations under osteoarthritis. First is joint stiffness and pain. The pain increases during activity and it is relieved by resting the affected joints. Crepitus or crepitation. It is a dry, crackling sound from a moving joint. Enlarged and edematous joints. Asymmetrical joint swelling. Usually the dominant side. Hand deformities or the bony bumps. Diagnostic procedures under rheumatoid arthritis. First, we have a positive antinuclear antibody test, a positive rheumatoid factor test, synovial fluid analysis will show an increased WBC count, increased volume and turbidity and a decreased viscosity and complement. 
In our extra result, in early stage, it will show bone demineralization and soft tissue swelling. And in later stage, the result will show a loss of cartilage, narrow joint spaces, bone destruction, subluxations, and deformities. On the other hand, are the diagnostic procedures under osteoarthritis. Arthroscopy. It will show bone spurs and the narrowing of the joint spaces. Bone spur or osteophytes are bony projections that develops on the edges of the bones. X-ray result. It will show joint deformity, narrowing of joint spaces, and bone spurs. Let's now proceed. To their managements. Under rheumatoid arthritis, we have non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. This is to lessen inflammation and pain. Analgesic like aspirin. Then anti-rheumatic drug like hydroxychloroquine. Lastly is glucocorticoids like prednisone and hydrocortisone. Since sometimes it is caused by an infection like Group A beta hemolytic streptococci. Then our management under osteoarthritis. Same non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs to lessen inflammation and pain. Analgesic like aspirin. Next is isometric exercises. Avoid certain exercises like jogging, jumping, or lifting. These activities increase the pressure to the joints. Lastly, Provide passive RIM exercises to maintain joint mobility. Before we proceed to our next discussion, please don't forget to click the subscribe button to keep you updated to our new topic. I really appreciate the support. All the best, Wonder Nurses! Let's now proceed to gouty arthritis. It is a metabolic disease due to the urate deposits in the joints causing a painfully arthritic joint. Types First, we have primary gout. It is a genetic abnormality that is common to men from 30 to 50 years of age and to postmenopausal women. Secondary or acquired gout. It originates from drug therapy, diet, or from a metabolic causes that is not genetic in nature. It is common to elderly patients. Causes, genetic, and an increased uric acid. Key manifestations. First, we have inflamed and painful joints. Podagra. This is the inflammation of big toes. Toffee. Is the deposition of monosodium urate in the soft tissues, synovial tissues are in bones near the joints. Diagnostic procedures, an above normal serum uric acid level. Arthrosynthesis will reveal the presence of monosodium urate monohydrate crystals in the synovial fluid taken from an inflamed joint or tophus. The x-ray of the patient with chronic gout will also show damage of the articular cartilage and some chondral bone. Management Low purine diet Encourage to increase oral fluid intake Anti-gout medications like cochicine to decrease the inflammation and allopurinol to prevent uric acid formation. Uricosuric drugs like probenicid that facilitate the excretion of uric acid. And lastly, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs to lessen the inflammation and pain. Let's now proceed to our last topic. Osteoporosis. It is a metabolic bone disorder. Bone resorption is faster than the rate of bone formation causing loss of bone mass and density. The affected bones loses calcium and phosphate salts, which makes it porous, brittle, and vulnerable to fracture. It is common to elderly, 
and postmenopausal women due to the decrease in estrogen level. Causes Decreased hormonal function Negative calcium balance and lifestyle Under this is sedentary lifestyle It also includes smoking, alcohol, caffeine, and excessive steroids This decreases calcium absorption Key manifestations Kyphosis or dowager's humps Positive deformity and pain Diagnostic procedures Dual or single photon absorptionometry It measures the bone mass which can facilitate in the assessment of the extremities, hips, and spine The x-ray will also show the generation of the bones Management A balanced diet that is high in calcium, vitamin D, and protein Physical activity, like walking, is advised. Supplements, like vitamin D and calcium carbonate. Hormonal agents, like conjugated estrogen and calcitonin. Lastly, is anti-osteoporotic drug, like alendronate. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.